Okay, so welcome back. Oh my god. <laughs> I got something stuck in my throat. Okay, so this one's already been re reconfigured. So last time I got spotted by the big death eye over here. So I'm gonna uh, do my very best to avoid that. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what between episodes I got stuck in my throat. This sucks. Can I make it? Can I make this? I can totally make this. I believe in myself. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Alright, so, uh, yeah, so welcome back. We gotta reconfigure all these consoles. I, uh, last time, if I'm not mistaken, there's, there's one over here that I probably should have started with, but... Whatever, it's too late now. Alright, we're going for it. We're making a break for it, Doc. Doc, we gotta get back to 1985! I do the worst Marty impression I think I've ever heard. This console will link to the beam. Uh, how do I... Right. Nailed it. Oh my god, what is stuck in my throat right now? This sucks. Ugh. I got some cake with me too, so during the cutscenes I have something to do. Uh, how do you do this? Oh no, that's not what it is. It's this. Nailed it. I like these puzzles though. Uh, I think it was on the last episode I was saying, I really actually do like the variation of puzzles in this game. It kind of, you know, breaks everything up and gives a good pacing. This game, I think, could be really awesome. Or more awesome, because it's actually not a bad game. If it was, like, moneyed up. If this got, like, a, a decent budget, I think it could be really, really more awesome. Because I was thinking the other day, uh, just all the Doctor Who games that I've played, and, I mean, there's not... I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god, I almost just messed that up. That beam is moving pretty fast. Okay, we did that. Yeah, there's not too many that I can think of. I mean, there's this. There's uh, the Eternity Clock. There's, I think there's like a PlayStation 2 one, which I've, I've never played. Uh, shockingly, doesn't get the greatest of reviews. Uh, there's... Like the the game on the smartphones, which is actually really fun. It's kind of like a just a puzzle game. It's sort of like um, like Bejeweled, I guess. But it's actually really fun. I have it on my phone. I play it. I play it every night before bed. It's the, my treat to myself. All right. So uh, am I not gonna get seen if I stand in front of this thing? Apparently not. All right. So we are making some sweet headway through this. And I'm very excited because uh, today, or I can't, no, yeah, earlier today, I picked up uh, Season 9 Part 2 of uh, Doctor Who. So the next kind of Capaldi uh, stuff, which I'm very excited to watch because I, do, I super don't have cable anymore. So I don't get to watch... A lot of it. Usually, uh, for big stuff, I'll go... Ah, uh, no, 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 I fucked up. I fucked up. Uh, I go to my, uh, girlfriend's house to watch. Like, we watch the Christmas specials and all that together. Um, so yeah, I, I, it sucks. I'm trying to get it back so I can keep up to date with, like, the new season coming out. Because it looks awesome. With the ghost, I'm very excited for, uh, yeah, for that episode coming out. And I like that it takes place in New York. I'm gonna fuck this up again. Fudge! God, I gotta start paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm, like, I'm very tired, so this might be... This might take some doing. <clears throat> but yeah, the new uh, Christmas special coming out. Uh, it looks really cool. Like, there's superheroes in it. And my guess... Uh, this is just... My... Is it, okay, so that's right. My, like, the ghost is gonna be... Like an alien or an android or something like that. That that's just my guess, because I don't see Doctor Who going the. Oh, oh fudge! Uh, I don't see them going the like really comic booky route with stuff. But you never know, and that's what's great about Doctor Who. I think that's what's charming. That's the Supreme Council. Okay, I gotta eat cake while they're talking. Hang on. Mm. Oh, so good. Occupational hazard. You're sitting on a throne all the time, you're gonna put on a few pounds. But that is what I'm interested in. Is that it? Whatever the Daleks used to wipe out the earth. Well, if I was a betting man, yeah. That'd be it. That's interesting. Temporal coordinates. Interesting to you, maybe, but how do we get anywhere near that thing with all those Daleks around? Knock politely. What? 
Okay, so I know I, oh good, they stopped talking because I have a mouthful of cake. That's really nice, guys. Golly. We need to be careful. What? Why? Oh, I see. That makes sense. Can I, if, if I, uh, I thought if I stepped on that, an alarm was going to go off. So not that way. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, like, that's, I think, the, the big charm with Doctor Who is they really can do kind of anything they want. That's I think that's what makes a good sci-fi is when you push the limits of imagination. Died. What? You didn't see me. Shut up. No, I'm fine. He, Daleks we can't walk around careful. corners. Everybody knows that. We should be safe now. Um. Yeah. For example, like again, you Fudge. Know? Straight to the top. All right, more cake. The Supreme Council Chamber. It's like it read my mind. Dalek technology. Wonderful. If only they didn't want to use it to kill everybody all the time. Halt! You will be taken to the Dalek Emperor! That's not good. A stroke of luck. Just the dictator I wanted to see. Speak for yourself. You will come <coughs> by all means. Lead on. Mmm, cake during cutscenes is great. Mmm. Oh god! Doctor! You recognize me then? I should save time. Okay, time to ask some questions. Uh, I think I'm... <laughs> you have to stop. Stop it. Stop it, damn it. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. That you seems funny. The laws of time can't be manipulated on such a massive scale. The laws of time are controlled by the Daleks. No, they're too powerful for anyone to control. You carry on ignoring them and time will fold in on itself. You will destroy the Daleks and everything else. I love that. I love that Daleks are just like brain squids. It's just it's such like a weird Futurama thing. Uh Show me the power! I have the power! Uh yeah, let's do this. Have you got the first idea of what will happen if you carry on disrupting the time continuum? Daleks will be the masters of time and the universe. Uh, let's see this source. the source. Take them to the source. <clears throat> the Emperor Dalek does not obey orders. All right, that should be his power. If there's no one to marvel at it, to quake with fear. Come on, show me, scare me. Witness the might of the Daleks. Fear it. I'm almost to the cake. That's not good. It can't be. What is it? The eye of time. More powerful than the heart of any TARDIS. <clears throat> than the power of every TARDIS ever built. Harnessed by the Time Lord centuries ago and lost at the fall of Gallifrey. Lost? The eye is a natural phenomenon. Some say it is the heart of time and space itself, the very core of the Big Bang. Time Lords contained it in a powerful iron field, but when Gallifrey was destroyed, it vanished into the universe. The Daleks found it! It is ours! Daleks are the new Time Lords! <laughs> time Lords use their power awesome. to benefit the universe, not to crush it. You were weak. Soon, throughout all time and space, there will be only Daleks! No. Your time just ran out. Uh, Amy, run. Exterminate! 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 You would have thought that they would have, like, taken his sonic screwdriver away from him. But that's okay. That's the Daleks, they're wacky. Ah, oh, so good. So good. I love that. We No, we found the Eye of Time, so it's ours. Finders keepers! No, give us these back these. Exterminate! Yeah, I'm hoping for the new season of uh, Doctor Who coming out, we get some some more Dalek stuff. Because that, like, Davros episode. Davros, Davros, however you want to say it. Oh, it was so good. 
I think it was uh, what was it the, the Magician's Apprentice, and then the uh, the sea like the one that carry. I can't remember. There was like the girl who lived. I can't. I can't remember the names. Are you alright? Yes. What happened? Those temporal coordinates. Remember, this is Kalan just before the Daleks return to it with the Eye of Time. But it looks like it will be coming soon. And it won't be long before the Empress sends more Daleks after us through the Eye. We have to be ready for them. What do we do? Set a trap. Okay, it's trap setting time. So, like, yeah, why would the the Emperor not just send, uh, like the Daleks right out? Like, why would it take? Why would he need to pull them aside and be like, "Listen, all right, go get your stuff together, uh, get your hat, pack a bag, because you might be there for a while, bring some snacks, and then maybe go." Like, why? Yeah, why wouldn't he just be like, "Oh, he jumped in the portal, jump right on after him," or is that not how time works? Because we all know that time is. It's a wibbly wobbly timey wimey kind of thing. So yeah, maybe that's just not how time works. So we are now, we are setting a sick trap. Oh, he's super blown up. Poor, poor space squid. Uh, so what do we do? Okay, so we gotta grab all the pieces, and then we're gonna make ourselves a good old Dalek bear trap. Oh my God, if that's what we make, that'd be incredible. If it was just a thing that the Daleks, like, stepped into, or rather, uh, floated into. Uh, city pull powerful acid, connect the generators, all I need is an electrical charge. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to basically jump start everything in here, and, uh, bingo, bango, bongo, we'll be good. Uh, Daleks have already set up the magnetic field generators, but there's no power. I cannot do it, Captain! I don't have the power! What's this guy? Sitting on the pull acid, commit. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to, uh charge this water because all that stuff's in it and that's going to charge this thing. I'm guessing that's what I have to do. Uh, useful conductive material. No? Is that not right? Am I not doing it right? Oh god. Alright, so you know what? We'll, uh, we'll build this trap on the very next episode. So uh, join me then. We're going to find all the parts for this bad boy. And uh, we're going to build ourselves a sick Dalek trap. So thanks again for joining. Uh, if you haven't already, again, like, comment, subscribe for all the latest and greatest stuff. And let me know your favorite Doctor Who moments. We'll see you next time.